A few of you have asked how to get a gadget customized uh, using the existing ones that we have. Uh, for example, this Hours Worked by Tech gadget, um, you want to filter this list to where it doesn't show the whole the production team. You just want to show a couple, maybe, say, in a certain department, like application development. So here's the way to do that. You want to go into your gadgets directory and find the gadget you're looking for, Hours by Tech. and um, this is the one we're actually going to work with um, but the first step let's go actually into the scripts directory and we want to look for get hours by tech okay the get script is the one we want so we're gonna make a copy of this and paste it and in the title I'm just gonna name it um, get hours by tech underscore apps we'll just make this monitoring the apps okay so we're gonna edit that in notepad and we go down to the team production function now this is referring to the function that's programmed in your module file in the connections.psm1 file but this can be changed if you want to customize your own gadgets so let's replace this text here this team production with say the the members that we had in mind so you want to do a double quote and then a single quote followed by the connectwise username and uh, let's close out with a single quote. If we want multiples in there, you just separate by comma. Uh, spaces really don't matter. You just need to make sure whatever's in the single quotes is what you're using. Uh, okay, and then we'll go ahead and save this. Okay, so now we've got the people we want to monitor. This also applies with gadgets with boards. If you want to just select a few boards, this is the way to do it. Uh, so double quotes on the outside, and then the, the entities in the inside surrounded by single quotes, and commas separating them. Next step is back in the gadgets directory. Uh, we want to right-click and edit on the gadget we want uh, to make a copy of. So we're going to actually hit edit, not copy and I'll tell you the reason we're doing this in a second. Uh, you see down here this is referring to the get hours by tech, the original script. You want to change this now by clicking on the little connect to data icon and click use Windows PowerShell. Now this place is where we edit it. We're going to change this to apps and we're going to do a test real quick. So now it queries some of the date data that we put in there. Now um, one member isn't showing up, hasn't put in time yet. Um, but that's what we want, so we want to hit finish. Now these next two steps are very important. You want to click on edit and then name, and we want to change this name to apps or something different than what it was before, because um, power gadgets can sometimes get confused if the name field is the same. Okay, this next step, uh, equally as important, is you want to hit file and save as. We want to browse to your uh, gadgets directory and uh, we're going to save it as a new name. So we've got hours by tech. We're going to change that V21 to apps. What this does, when you do a save as, it generates a, a, a unique GUID and uh, so the uh, Power Gadgets creator doesn't get confused when you launch that gadget. So now if we go back into our gadget directory, you'll see hours by tech apps and it's filtered just by the ones that we've set in the get script itself and there you go